Level 6 or grade D equivalent fractions, decimals and percentages. We're going to be converting between the three things because they're essentially all the same thing. Um, we'll start with percentages into decimals and fractions or fractions and decimals. Percentages, the percentage symbol means out of 100. So as writing as a fraction, we'll write 27 over 100. And quite often we want to cancel that down but in this case there's nothing that can goes into both 27 and 100 so we can't. Now changing that into a decimal uh, if you think about changing pence into pounds 27 pence becomes 0.27 pounds because you're dividing by 100 because 100 pence in a pound. That's a good thing to remember when doing this so that uh, hopefully when you get something like 7% 7 out of 100 is quite easy to do as a fraction but as a decimal um, quite a common mistake is not to put the extra zero in and just to put uh, 0.7 but 0.7 would in fact be 70% um, 70 out of 100 now this one does cancel down so we can knock off a zero from the bottom to get 7 over 10 or 7 tenths and that is 0.7 now if you think about it 70 0.70 but we don't write the zero on the end just put 0.7. Decimals percentage to fraction, so 0.3 um, when we're trying to change a decimal to a percentage we're going to go reverse of dividing by 100, we're going to times by 100, so 0.3 times by 100 um, times them by 10 is 3, times them by another 10 is 30 so that's 30 percent and then we can go straight to a fraction um, from either way, so we can go this way which is 3 tenths, because that's the tenths column 0.3 is 3 tenths or we can go this way and put 30 over 100 and then cancel it down to 3 tenths 0.03 again being careful not to make the mistake um, with this remember that the 0 means that it's 3 out of 100 as a fraction and therefore 3% uh, 0.39 um, Titan by 100, 39%, and as a fraction, 39 over 100, and that can't be cancelled down. Fractions to decimals to percentage. Now, if we've got a fraction that's not out of 100, to change it to a decimal, to change it to a decimal, we just do the top divided by the bottom. Now, that's not always easy to do, but if we make it out of 100 or out of 10, then uh, by changing it to an equivalent fraction, if I times the top and bottom by two to get 8 over 10, 4 fifths is equivalent to 8 over 10 that's 8 tenths which is 0 0.8 and if you think about that as a um, two digit decimal that gives you 80 percent so that's one way of doing it another way is to try and make it out of 100 we could have gone by times and by 100 uh, times by 20 sorry to get uh, 80 over 100 and then we could have gone to 80 percent or 0 0.8 from there 12 over 40, difficult to make that out of 100 unless we again make it out of something um, that's equivalent that does go into 100. So if I divide that by 2, I get 6 over 20. If I divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2, that gives me an equivalent fraction which is the same value but written differently. 6 over 20, I can then change to out of 100 by times in by 5 to get 30 out of 100, um, which is 0.3 zero and thirty percent three eighths uh, eighths are a tricky one you really should just know eighths but uh, if you think about um, changing eighths um, eighths as being let me just write this down one eighth no two eighths equals a quarter and a quarter is 0 0.25 now if we just add an extra zero on there if we want one eighth, we want 0 0.125 because that's half of a quarter, and therefore three eighths is going to be three lots of that, which is 0 0.375, and as a decimal, that's going to be 37.5. We just times this by 100. Okay, some conversions you should just know. Um, ideally, all of these, but uh, certainly you should know a half, and you should know quarters. Um, and you definitely should know tenths. So one half, 0 0.5, 50%. One quarter, 0 0.25, 25%. And also three quarters, 0 0.75, 75%.
one tenth 0 0.1 and 10 percent and so uh, three tenths would be 0 0.3 or 30 percent and seven tenths would be 0 0.7 and 70 percent and any multiple of 10 uh, any type of tenth there would be equivalent now ones that we should really know but it's, uh, ten, people tend not to thirds tend to cause problems quite a few people know that not a third is 0 0.3 recurring but written as a percentage that's 33.3 recurring percent uh, and two thirds would be 0 0.6 recurring which is 66.6 uh, percent so 0.6 recurring percent okay let's just section that off um, another one that people tend not to know but should definitely know is one-fifth now one-fifth is equal to two-tenths as the equivalent fraction so you should be able to do a fifth because if we can do tenths we can do fifths because each fifth is two-tenths so that's 0 0.2 or 20 percent um, another thing you can think about is fractions of a pound so one-fifth of a pound is 20p um, and that will allow you to think about the decimal that it is 0 0.20 um, two fifths is going to be four tenths or 0 0.4 40 percent and so on and the last one that I mentioned on the previous page is eighth so eighth is 0 0.125 or 12 and a half percent and any multiple of that so five eighths would be five times of that which is 0 0.625 and 62 and a half percent